Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Welcome to day one of the What's on Tap Advent Calendar, where we'll have 24 beers of greatness, hopefully, to go through. And I'm super excited about this year. On the first uh, day of Christmas, my true love sent to me uh, a wrapped beer that I yes. do not know what it is. Well, that's also good because I also do not know what it is, other than it is a wrapped beer in the paper that I wrap. So I wrap all my beers in the exact same wrapping paper, so that way I wouldn't have any idea of what any of them are uh, when we actually started opening them. So it'll be a surprise to me because sometimes I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I know what that one is. But yeah. this year I have absolutely no idea what any of them are. Uh, so I'm super excited about this. And uh, I have wrapped mine in two different settings because I mm. ran out of wrapping paper. Ah. Also, at the time of this episode recording, I have not yet wrapped my last beer. Oh no! <laughs> uh, well, you got a few days. To, you got a few days to pick it and add it to the exactly. To the calendar, so there's no there's exactly. no rush. But uh, but the longer I wait, the more the certain they'll be to be open late, and I don't mm-hmm. want that. I want it to be random. Well, I think we can, we, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get it all worked out. I, I will get it fixed it. really yeah. soon. All right. So before we begin, did you have any kind of uh, idea of how you wanted to pick your beers? Or did you just like, wrap, you know, like whatever works? Um, same theory as last year. I wanted you to go either, oh, wow, I really mm-hmm. wanted to drink this. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, wow, I've never had this and it seems great. Or... What the fuck is this? Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so this year I went and I uh, went to some web shops and ordered some stuff online. So I had so I had 12 beers available, ready to go. But then what I've done over the course of, of time is I've slowly replaced them, most not all of them, some of them, with uh, Swedish beers. So I really wanted to kind of highlight the Swedish beer scene more this calendar than we have previously. So I would say 75% of my beers are, are Swedish beers wow. and the other 25% are um, beers I just really did, I really wanted to have for the, <laughs> for the calendar. <laughs> I think I've wrapped one Swedish beer. Okay, good. I was a little worried that there might be some crossover because I would check and like, oh, you haven't had this before. So maybe it could be something you picked. So that makes me pretty pretty excited about this. There is a, a number of beers mm-hmm. I've wrapped that I have had before. That okay. I, I've wrapped specifically because I want you to experience it. Uh, there are a, a few beers that you've had before, but I believe you've liked them. Yeah, so yeah. it will be fun to retry. That's that's always... Uh... <laughs> or, or you maybe had them like a year ago and they re-released them or something like that. So it's a, it's a new release. And the Swedish beer I have, the brewery is... It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, Christ. Okay, so it's a vintage for sure. It's going to be great. Um, I can't wait to try it. I'm very excited about this. But it'll be your only chance... To try this beer. Yes. All right. So you picked the first the yes. first day's beer. It is ah, one that I, ah, I had. It's a um, I think I might know what it is, but we'll we'll see if I'm, I'm correct. Uh, yep. Oh, of course. This is our annual Too Old... Uh, beer. I didn't think it would be day one, but perfect. We should so, have had this on day twelve. It's number twelve. Deepa. <laughs> too bad. Too late now. Um, yeah, of course, since we started this, we originally started with a total calendar. We always have a total beer in the calendar somewhere, um, and I love the two old Deepa numbered series. Uh, we have the hashtag at our local system blog. It is a regular release, and it's always delicious. Um, and I think I've had all of the numbers to date. And when I saw this come out. I was like, oh, I definitely have to have this as part of the calendar, at least as a placeholder. And if nothing else comes out uh, in between now and then, this will definitely be a great addition to the calendar. Definitely. So this is super exciting to kick off day one with Too Old Deepa uh, number 12. Funnily enough, the hashtag Deepa I've mm-hmm. had 23 times. You love it. You are always checking it in. <laughs> uh, if I mm. need an IPA from the shelf and I've run out of the... Uh, uh, temporary releases mm-hmm. that's my go-to because I very often give it a 4 yeah sometimes I actually give it higher and sometimes I do give it a lower rating it's I think that's more based on mood yeah. than can variations but it's, but it's a, consistently it's consistently a good beer I would say that my two go-to's right now on the store shelves are 
uh, hashtag Deepa, yep. and uh, Double Moss from uh, Stay Brigades. Huh. I, I find that beer to be quite enjoyable. I, I, it might have been too long since I tried it. I'm okay. to it, it's right above the hashtag. Uh, it's just a nah. boy. So, <laughs> they're, right, they're right next to each other, literally on the shelf. So it was pretty good. But the citrus, it smells uh, hoppy, almost yeah, citrusy. I, I, like I don't see think there's any the... citrus in it. But... No. I, let's see. Is there a... So they've got every language version on here. And i got to get to the one that I recognize. It's not... Uh, Dutch or German or something. Uh, um, it's uh, <clears throat> Wakatu, Columbus, and HBC 630. Yeah, I'm saying it smells kind of like a New zealand And Idaho 7. Yeah, I mean, I think Idaho 7 on its own is not that great, but it's a great uh, adjunct hop. It really brings out a lot of great qualities from other hops. And this one, it smells really good. Let's if, start, if you let's told start. me there was a Zoc in this, I wouldn't have a surprise either. Right. <laughs> let's start the calendar on a solid note. Oh, man, that's so good. That's just super drinkable. I I freaking love this series, and they keep killing it. Um, I mean, when they came out with Tool City, they were hitting pretty high. Yeah. I think their quality has slipped a little um, in the past yeah. year and a half, two years. Uh, but this series they keep cranking out and it keeps delivering but the reason 2L City has slipped a little is because we're getting the weirder variations we're getting mm-hmm. some some uh, kettle sours and we're getting imperial stouts that are like heavy on smoke or some weird yeah I mean, they've always been kind of playful and experimental in their in their beer styles definitely but what I'm missing is uh, mine is bigger than your series and uh, uh, the Imperial Stout series. Yeah, I, I mean, I love the Mr. Series and the Miss Series, and they don't really do those anymore. No. Um, some of the things that they used to do, the, the beer lines, they've quit doing, which is unfortunate, I think. Yeah. Um, and you don't really see Saisons or... Um, but they do have their their, their wild beer, um, table beer uh, brands as well. Uh, don't we don't we don't get those over here very often in Sweden, but you can get them at uh, the um, the restaurant um, uh-huh. uh, quite easily. Uh, this is really good. It's a little it's it's really soft and pillowy and very pleasant, easy to drink. Aftertaste is a is a little sweet, which is pretty standard for the the hashtag series. Definitely, um, it's always had a little bit of sweetness to it, almost like a milk sugar adjunct kind of thing. Yep. Mm. I don't think they use any lactose, but I, mm. it, it tastes like... I didn't like really see any, but yeah, it does taste like there, like there is some in there. Um, but I mean, it, this is a sol- it is, it's a solid or strong four. It, it, yeah. doesn't re- it doesn't quite get to 425. For me, it's right at 425, right at the edge of 425. If, it, if, if there was a, a 4.23... It would probably yeah. be that, but I'm going to round. I'm going to round up here for for the sake of the, the episode. Yeah, but with specifics, it's a four point one for me. Yeah, four point two. I would if if if, if it was a four point two, I would just say four twenty five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think this is super drinkable. I would easily drink this again uh, and buy this quite often if you could get it regularly. But my glass this, is empty. This sells out pretty quick usually. My glass is empty, oh. and that's always a sign. That is a good sign. Because um, both this and the regular just hashtag, the, the one that doesn't yeah. have a number, they are quaffable. They are. They're very, very easy. Crushable. Do we see an ABV on this? It is 8.5%, um, and you wouldn't know it to taste it. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect IPA uh, percentage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is freaking excellent and a great way to start the calendar. Yeah. Uh, not the beer I thought you were going to pick, but uh, I thought you picked. Um, so that's a, another surprise the beer for you later. I thought I would pick like no, 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 twelve no, no, beers. No, uh, of, of the cans, I thought it was a different can. Uh-huh. But this was um, this was a real treat. Uh, I'm glad to get it start the calendar off on a on a real high here. Intriguing. Yes. Um, okay. So you can find us online at what's on tap podcast.com, Instagram, Spotify. Spotify, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I was mumbling through that. Spotify is where well, all of our listeners should go into Spotify and heart us. They should. We should get more hearts on Spotify for sure. Because we have a lot of listeners, but we don't have any hearts. We don't have. We don't. It's the please rate us. 
Yeah, basically. It's the Rate Us, uh, Love Us on, on Spotify. I don't really come on iTunes too much. I feel like I'm not an Apple person, but no. definitely an Android person. So I probably lost half of our listeners just there with that proclamation. People are so <laughs> territorial of their phones. Um, yeah, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all those fun places. Uh, so until next time, Merry keep, Christmas. Oh, and keep drinking, you dumb dumbs. <laughs>